tell me who you are. I am the Iron Fist. You probably already know the truth, but the Iron Fist TV show is just another stepping stone from Marvel TV to get us a Defender show. I think they had a really hard task, though, because Iron Fist's backstory is convoluted as f Here's a breakdown of the things to know from the Iron Fist comics, even if you're not gonna watch the show. Make sure to subscribe to Universe for more on comic books, TV shows, movies, wrestling, anime, and me, Buddy Hutton. Oh, you could probably subscribe for the other stuff. Iron Fist had a rough start. After Iron Fist Comics' 1974 debut, it only had 15 issues before it was merged with another book. Luke Cage came from black exploitation popularity. I swear, baby, I don't know what you're talking about. Iron Fist came from kung fu movie popularity. Both of those genres lost popularity extremely quickly in the 1970s, so to save them, they paired them both together. Which is why Heroes for Hire is about a guy that speaks jive and wears a tiara who's invulnerable to damage, paired with a white guy that knows kung fu. The 70s were weird. What's his origin story? In the show, Danny's parents die in a plane crash, which sucks. But in the comics, it's way worse. While hiking up a mountain with the fam, Danny's father is this little piggied off of a mountain by his business partner, Harold Meacham. Danny watches this. Danny and his mother are left on the mountaintop to freeze to death, but before this can happen, his mother is eaten by wolves. Danny watches this. Before the wolves can eat Danny, though, some warriors from Kunlun show up and save Danny. He vows revenge against Meacham and starts punching buckets full of rocks. Cue the sweet montage. What is an Iron Fist? In the comics, Danny trains in Kunlun, which is one of eight extra-dimensional cities populated by ninja monks. An Iron Fist is a champion among the Kunlunians? Kunlunians. Whatever. An Iron Fist is a champion among them who's defeated the mystical dragon Shu Lao the Undying and punched his heart, which is in a bucket in a cave that he protects. Every time Kun Lun needs an Iron Fist, they kill this poor dragon again. Danny's sweet chest tattoo came from hugging Shu Lao to death. Ugh. Also, Danny's chest tattoo looks a lot like another logo that I know. What are his powers? Danny trained 10 years to get revenge on the guy that killed his parents. In that time, he learned martial arts and acquired a huge list of powers and abilities, most of them using chi to augment his capabilities. Hi, 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 hi. Heightened strength, speed, senses, nervous system, as well as energy manipulation, prolonged life, hypnotism, some telepathic ability, and the healing of himself and others. Also, he got a new outfit from the dude that trained Doctor Strange, so he's immune to magic and he looks great. Iron Fist died in the comics. Kind of. A kid named Bobby Wright grabs a meteorite, which poisons him, but also randomly turns him into an adult with superpowers called Captain Hero. But not that Captain Hero. I'm Captain Fucking Hero and I can't feel my fucking face! After Iron Fist uses his chi power to heal Bobby of the poison that's killing him, Bobby has a super-powered tantrum and punches a sleeping Danny through the wall of the hospital, killing him. But five years later, Iron Fist comes back into the comics, because it turns out it wasn't really Bobby that tantrum punched Iron Fist, it was the Super Scroll. The scroll are shape-shifting aliens Marvel uses every time they want to change a storyline after it happens. Also, it wasn't even Iron Fist that got punched, it was a plant pretending to be Iron Fist. The real Danny had cancer and was floating in a weird Bacta tank as a prisoner of these plant people called the Hyrithi, it doesn't matter. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like that stuff. I'm gonna go sit at my desk for the rest of the afternoon and concentrate on my fist. I think I can make it glow. It's a dumb joke.